In the realm of modern media, few figures ignite controversy like Alex Jones. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! But who is the real Alex Jones? A whistleblower unearthing buried secrets or a conspiracist weaving tales of fiction? Join us as we delve deep into the enigma of Alex Jones. We're gonna beat your ass! You just get that through your stinking traitorous heads! Excuse me, I apologize when we have a lot of Christian affiliates. I am a Christian. But I will stomp your head in if you start a fight with me, you thug scum. Anyways, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, allies. Following our deep dive into the world of Andrew Tate, we turn our lens to another influential figure whose voice has echoed through the corridors of alternative media, Alex Jones. His journey from a public access television host to a widely recognized, often contentious figure in media is a tale of intrigue, controversy and a relentless pursuit of a personal agenda. Jones' rise parallels the evolution of media itself. From radio and public access TV to the uncharted waters of internet broadcasting, his story is not just about the content he produces but also about the changing landscape of how we consume media. In this exploration, we'll dissect the layers of Alex Jones' influence. How did a voice from the fringes find its way to the mainstream? How has he managed to captivate and at times polarize millions? And what does his story tell us about the power and responsibility of media in the modern world? From conspiracy theories to legal battles, from entrepreneurial ventures to clashes with mainstream media, the story of Alex Jones is a testament to the transformative power of modern media. Prepare to journey into the heart of alternative media storm. This is not just the story of a man, but a reflection of our times. To understand the man behind the media persona, we delve into the origins of Alex Jones. Born in 1974 in Dallas, Texas, Jones' upbringing was in the heartland of America, steeped in the values and cultures of the South. Growing up in a suburb of Dallas, Jones was exposed to the vibrant political and cultural debates of the time. It was here, in the crucible of his formative years, where the seeds of his future persona were sown. In high school, Jones was known for his intensity and argumentative nature, often engaging in debates on various topics. It wasn't just his passion for discussion, but a deep-seated desire to challenge norms that set him apart. Jones' foray into media began with a public access television show in Austin, Texas. It was here that he honed his skills in broadcasting, gradually developing his distinct style. A mix of fervent rhetoric, conspiracy theories, and a populist approach. His early work on radio and television was marked by a focus on local issues, but it wasn't long before he expanded his scope. Driven by a belief in the power of alternative media, Jones began to tackle national and global topics, setting the stage for the inception of Infowars. The birth of Infowars in the late 1990s marked a turning point. It became the platform from which Jones would broadcast his views to a wider audience. But that's something we will explore later in this video. From his humble beginnings in suburban Texas to becoming a notable figure in alternative media, Alex Jones' journey is a reflection of a relentless pursuit to voice his opinions, often at odds with mainstream perspectives. His origin lays the foundation for the controversies and especially the influence that would later define him. I've been told this by high up folks, they say, listen, Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. I never said this because the media go crazy with it, but I've, I've talked to people that are in protective details. I mean, they're scared of it, and they say, listen. Alex Jones, a name synonymous with some of the most controversial conspiracy theories of modern times. Oh, shit. Among 
his most notorious theories is the claim that the 9-11 attacks were an inside job orchestrated by the U.S. government. What happened on 9-11, exactly. that they blocked the lawsuits, that Mueller was the guy that quarterbacked all that, yeah. and then he quarterbacked the entire cover-up, brought in two days after 9-11. This theory gained significant traction and stoked widespread debate. Andy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. But Jones didn't stop there. He asserted that the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, a tragedy that shook the nation, was a hoax. Ever think the globalists that have hijacked this country wouldn't stage something like this? They kill little kids all day every day and it's not our government it's the globalist this claim not only sparked outrage but also led to legal battles against him nonetheless these assertions will be spoken about in depth in later stages of the video his repertoire of theories also includes claims about government weather manipulation the existence of a new world order and allegations of chemicals and water turning frogs gay. A statement that while bizarre highlighted concerns about environmental contamination. But amidst the myriad of theories, some of Jones' assertions have found strands of truth. His early warnings about the erosion of privacy and the rise of surveillance culture, for example, predated mainstream concerns and discussions, especially post-Snowden revelations. Jones' ability to mix truths with sensational claims has been a hallmark of his influence. Guy, buddy, you just rammed into me? Ah, how do you like that? Now hit me in the face and see what happens, punk! It's this bland that has both attracted a dedicated following and earned him significant criticism. In the world of Alex Jones, the line between fact and fiction is often blurred. His theories, while outlandish to many, have tapped into a vein of skepticism towards authority, resonating with a segment of society wary of mainstream narratives. As we continue to explore the complex figure of Alex Jones, stay tuned for an insight into his entrepreneurial ventures. And by the way, remember to share your perspectives in the comments below. We are being poisoned. Our fertility is being targeted and it's dropping across the Western world. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthroplex is the newest edition. Beyond his role as a conspiracy theorist, Alex Jones has proven to be a shrewd entrepreneur, using his platform to market a range of products. Central to Jones' business empire are nutritional supplements. These products, marketed under the InfoWars brand, claim to offer everything from enhanced mental clarity to boosted immune systems. Anthroplex is the newest addition in InfoWarsLife.com. One of the flagship products is the so-called BrainForce Plus, advertised as a way to enhance cognitive abilities. Despite the lack of scientific evidence for these claims, they found a market among Jones followers. Another notable product is the Super Male Vitality Supplement, which Jones claims counters the effects of what he describes as endocrine-disrupting chemicals in the environment. Again, these bold claims often lack substantial scientific backing. The success of these supplements is tied closely to Jones' persona, his passionate endorsements on air have helped turn these products into significant revenue streams for InfoWars. Beyond supplements, Jones' entrepreneurial ventures extend to survivalist merchandise. This includes everything from emergency survival foods to bulletproof vests, tapping into the fears and beliefs of his audience. Additionally, he has just released a video game titled NWO Wars, which serves as a humorous gimmick for his followership. It's important to note that the marketing of these products often leverages the very theories Jones propagates. For instance, survivalist products are marketed in the context of preparing for societal collapse, a theme prevalent in his broadcasts. 
this business model, blending controversial content with product marketing, has been both lucrative and contentious. It raises questions about the line between information and commerce, especially in the realm of conspiracy theories. As we delve deeper into the world of Alex Jones, it becomes clear that his influence is not just ideological, but also commercial. His ability to monetize his platform is a testament to his entrepreneurial acumen, albeit one steeped in controversy. Next, we explore Jones' foray into cinematography, another avenue where he has left his indelible mark. Apropos, don't forget to subscribe to Allies of Z for more intriguing narratives. Thank you, Senator. I appreciate the time. Apart from his role as a conspiracy theorist and entrepreneur, Alex Jones has made significant strides in filmmaking, primarily focusing on documentaries that echo his controversial views. Jones' foray into documentary filmmaking began in the late 1990s. Over the years, he has produced over 20 movies, each amplifying his ideology. One of his earlier works, America, Destroyed by Design, sets the tone for his style. A mix of investigative journalism and conspiracy theory. The movie criticizes global governance and the loss of American sovereignty. Another notable movie, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, delves into his theories on the New World Order, claiming a group of elite globalists are plotting to impose a totalitarian world government. The Obama Deception, a movie released in 2009 targets the presidency of Barack Obama, presenting him as a puppet of the same New World Order. This one was definitely controversial for its direct attack on a sitting president. Jones' movies often feature his dramatic narration and a sense of urgency. They are clearly designed to provoke, question, and as his followers would claim, awaken the masses. The content of these documentaries often aligns with the themes discussed on his Infowars platform forming a cohesive narrative across his media ventures. Critics, however, argue that Jones' movies are less about documentary filmmaking and more about propagating theories under the guise of investigative journalism. Despite the controversy, Jones' movies have found a substantial audience. They have become a staple in the world of alternative media often cited by his followers as eye-opening exposés. As with his other ventures, Jones' movies reflect his unique brand of activism, one that blurs the lines between entertainment, journalism, and advocacy. Whether one views them as insightful documentaries or conspiracy-laden movies, Alex Jones' impact on filmmaking within his sphere is undeniable. Coming up, we delve into the world of Infowars, its influence on social media, and Alex Jones' social media accounts. Stay tuned. What are champions made of? Here's a man who can show you. Infowars, Alex Jones' flagship project, stands as a cornerstone in his rise to notoriety. It's more than just a show. It's a digital empire that has shaped a significant part of modern conspiracy culture. Launched in 1999, Infowars began as a platform to disseminate Jones' theories. However, it quickly evolved, becoming a hub for alternative news, ideologies, and of course, conspiracy theories. Jones utilized Infowars to amplify his voice, reaching millions. His aggressive style and sensational content struck a chord with a growing audience disillusioned with mainstream media. The rise of social media added fuel to this fire. Jones adeptly used platforms like YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to expand his reach, often trending for his controversial statements. If I didn't have a liberal from New York in the bathroom, I couldn't wipe my ass. Excuse me. 
I apologize. We have a family audience. That was wrong, and I won't do it again. However, this prominence on social media came with scrutiny. Joe's content, often deemed as misinformation and hate speech, led to a significant backlash. A pivotal moment came when major platforms, including YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, banned Jones and Infowars, citing policy violations. Naturally, this sparked a debate on free speech and censorship in the digital age. But recently, there has been a turn of events. About a week ago, Jones made headlines again when he was reinstated on Twitter following a poll by Elon Musk. His first major appearance post-reinstatement was on a podcast with Elon Musk, Andrew Tate and many more, discussing freedom of speech, his journey and future plans. This return to social media marks a new chapter for Jones. It definitely raises questions about the evolving landscape of digital platforms, free speech and the spread of information. As we've seen, Jones' relationship with social media is complex and contentious. As for Infowars, its journey is a testament to the power and pitfalls of digital influence. Up next, we delve into one of the most controversial chapters in Jones' career, the Sandy Hook's elementary school shooting claims. But before we take this dive, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video so far. The Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in 2012 was a tragedy that shook the world. In the wake of this heartbreaking event, Alex Jones made claims that would become one of the most controversial episodes of his career. New clues just revealed about the mind of a madman. Details emerging about the Newtown school massacre gunman who took the lives of 20 children and six school staffers last December. Jones, known for his conspiracy theories, claimed that the Sandy Hook massacre was a hoax orchestrated by the government to undermine Second Amendment rights. These assertions sparked widespread outrage, especially among the families of the victims who faced harassment and threats from individuals believing Jones' claims. The situation escalated when several families of Sandy Hook victims filed lawsuits against Jones for defamation, leading to a series of legal battles. Jones' stance on Sandy Hook has fluctuated over the years. Initially, he stood by his claims, but later admitted that the shooting did occur, attributing his earlier statements to a form of psychosis. The legal repercussions for Jones have been significant. He faced multiple lawsuits resulting in substantial financial blows to Jones, amounting to $1.1 billion in defamation damages. The Sandy Hook controversy not only impacted Jones legally, but also damaged his credibility leading to further scrutiny of his other theories and statements. This chapter in Jones' life highlights the profound consequences that can arise from the spread of misinformation and the responsibilities of those with influential platforms. The Sandy Hook episode serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between freedom of speech and the potential harm caused by unfounded claims. As we move to the conclusion of our exploration into the world of Alex Jones, we reflect on the complexities of influence in the digital age. Join us as we wrap up our deep dive into this polarizing figure. As we conclude our exploration into the enigmatic world of Alex Jones, we reflect upon the question posed at the outset. Is Alex Jones a conspiracist or a whistleblower? Jones' journey from a public access television host to a prominent figure in alternative media has been marked by controversy and influence. I don't like him putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! His bold claims and theories have sparked debates on free speech, the spread of misinformation, and the role of media in shaping public opinion. While some view him as a whistleblower exposing uncomfortable truths, 
Others see him as a peddler of dangerous conspiracies. The legal battles, especially surrounding the Sandy Hook controversy, have been a turning point, challenging the boundaries of journalistic responsibility. Jones' story is clearly a testament to the power and perils of influence in the digital age. It raises critical questions about our collective ability to discern truth in a sea full of information. Allies, as we navigate this complex landscape, the onus is on us to seek truth, question narratives, and understand the impact of our beliefs. Is Alex Jones a conspiracist, a whistleblower, or something in between? That's for you, the viewer, to decide. If you found this exploration interesting and insightful, don't forget to watch our video on another modern day influencer, Andrew Tate. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time, allies.